All right, boys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys around my Mitsubishi Evo 7 GTA project car. And this car is uh, almost completed, so that's why I thought I'd make a bit of an update video to kind of just show you guys the progress on the car. So I pretty much bought the car running and they had a issue with the gearbox. The uh, Evo 7 GTA gearboxes tend to fail even at factory power levels, they're known to be pretty unreliable. But engine wise, power wise, they're actually pretty good, pretty solid. The engine is pretty much factory standard, nothing has been touched and played around with. Um, it does have a three port boost controller. And um, the car did have like a pole filter and besides that everything else is pretty much basic stock and standard I've already pulled out the gearbox um, Was a pretty easy job to do But I know putting it back can be easier said than done And uh, there's the new gearbox there. This is a upgraded gearbox. So this is the Evo 9 GTA wagon gearbox. So if you guys don't know Mitsubishi made the Evo 9 wagon in manual and auto and in the auto models, um, it's pretty much the same gearbox as the Evo 7s, except it's got the upgraded wave spring on it. So these gearboxes that come in the Evo 7, the, the factory standard ones, the wave springs tend to fail on them. And once they fail, people continue to drive them and then it actually ends up damaging the gears and you know so on and so forth. And then the clutch packs, something to do with those, they're pretty weak as well. Um, I'm not saying the Evo 9 GTA wagon gearbox is going to be like, you know, the, the gearbox that's going to handle a lot of power, but it's still better than the Evo 7 uh, factory gearbox. So you should be able to handle quite a bit more power, but nothing, you know, too crazy, like 300 horsepower plus. But the goal for this car is to pretty much um, do a bigger turbo, full bolt-ons, aftermarket ECU and Dynatune. So I have faith that this will handle 300 horsepower around then. It will, it will definitely hold 300 horsepower, but I won't abuse it all the time. I'll always constantly change the oil and make sure I get a good tune. And once the gearbox and the uh, transfer case is all in, we're going to have to start working on the performance side of things. So I'm going to have a bigger turbo GT pump 712 aftermarket intake piping because all these are all old and shit. All these are all old and cracked. And then I might possibly be looking at um, a bigger intercooler as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan for this car. Bigger turbo, intake piping, full exhaust, downpipe, more boost than Dynatune. And um, we're not going to push the car too hard, like 20 plus PSI or anything like that. But just for a street car, I know this thing is going to go hard. It's still going to be quick, but I want that reliability side of things too as well. But yeah, this car is my daily... I had a go at trying to buy like a cheap daily car, like a Honda Jazz and, you know, stuff like that, you know, but it was boring. It was super boring and it was slow. They, they couldn't merge in traffic. And for the people that are asking, I've never had any issues with my Subarus except for minor things. And this car has been nothing but a reliable car for me. Still fast, still fun to drive, loud great car to have as a daily if i'm going to be honest and i bought this car and i haven't done anything to it it's already perfect the way it is it's not overly done you know sti wing or like some aftermarket wheels lower to the ground it's pretty much perfect i love this car and it's got some tasteful modifications done to it so it's got a vf22 sti turbo front mount intercooler a few other bits and pieces here and there so um it's it's nice it's, stuff's already done for me and everything's done properly. The car's been done, tuned aftermarket ECU. And I have installed a boost gauge for the car too as well. This is the Raceworks boost gauge. Doesn't read PSI, it's all in bar. But that is the end of today's video. I just wanted to do a little walk around and kind of a show and tell of kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'll definitely be trying to keep both these cars, the WRX and the Evo.